Hi, my name is Paweł Spychalski and today one of the most demanded topics um, in the INAF GitHub repository and questions on the Quad Me Up and on this channel because how to connect the Sonar Rangefinder, this exactly this HCSR04 Sonar Rangefinder to INAF. Today I will show you the best and the only way to connect SR04 Sonar Rangefinder to any flight controller compatible with INAV, running INAV. Absolutely every single one. How? Very simple. First, you take HCSR04 in one hand. On the second hand, you take a box, any box. You put the HCSR04 into the box, you close the box and you hide the box very, 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 very deeply somewhere or even throw it away. Surprised? Why? Because HCSR04 is crap, there is nothing you can do about it and it's a very, very bad sonar rich finder to be used on a quadcopters. Why? Here is why. HCSR04 is a very simple device. It's designed to measure distance up to four, let's say two meters in a static environment. Unfortunately, the, all the multi-rotors airplanes are definitely not a static environment. Not only the measurement has to happen inside of the disturbed air, but also this is ultrasonic works thanks to the sound it works in a very very noise rich environment created by the spinning propellers last year when i was playing with the sonar rich finders a lot i've made a few experiments i've posted on my website quad me up and here more or less here are the results on the first glance the hcsr04 behaves let's say fine it measures altitude, the altitude works nicely with the one the return by the accelerometer, barometer and GPS and everything on the first glance looks nicely. But things are really, really, really starts to go ugly as soon as the distance between the range finder and the concrete, concrete something that really reflects the ultrasound quite nicely on the grass it's oh, it's a nightmare over concrete reaches i would say hmm, let's say one meter 1.5 meter not only the reported altitude stops to make any really useful sound useful, useful just not useful because look here barometer reports four meter but the HCSR04 still reports something like a one meter. Come on, the data is complete rubbish. It's not reporting out of range. It just starts to report some really absolutely random distance as the current distance. If you try to use this data to keep the altitude over the over the ground, the quadcopter, the drone will just go crazy and start going up or down bad things will be happening this is the signal to noise ratio as you, ratio as you can see it's complete absolute rubbish and it's really it was working up to 75 centimeters over concrete last note two weeks ago i've made some tests over the ground and grass up to 20 centimeters really Spare yourself and everyone else the problem and do not even think about connecting HCSR04 to anything that flies and has props because no, it will just not work. There are much, much better range finders, also relatively cheap. One of them is US100 uh, that Comparing to HCS04, uh, it's a completely different link. It's only slightly more expensive. The problem is that it's not manufactured. The, the quality is not always good, but still 
do not connect HCSR to anything. If you want to use US100, it's more or less compatible. Uh, in the echo trigger, not in trigger echo mode, it's fully compatible with HCS04. Uh, it has the serial mode, just use it instead. Really worth it. It's not that it can be used for much on the iNav, but on any other usage. US100 instead of HCSR04. Period. That's all for today. Until the next one. Ciao.